where the top five contestants are ready for the final question round. They spent months brushing up on historical and current events for this very moment. Here's how it's going to work, ladies. When your state is called, you're, you will randomly pick a number. That will correspond to a name of a member of the selection committee. Then they'll ask you a question. You'll have 30 seconds to answer it. And if you run out of time, you will hear this sound. Very well. You guys got it? All right. Then you good? You good? All right. Do now, it. The final question round starts right now. All right. Oklahoma, step right up and select your number. Judge number four. Your question comes from Susan Yara. Hi there, congratulations. Hi, thank you so much. So we're all using apps these days and several popular apps collect personal data from users and sell it to third parties. Does this influence your decision to use them? Why or why not? It actually does because I, I feel like I want my privacy respected. I want the privacy of my family, my loved ones. And as a leader, as a representative of Oklahoma, I want their privacy respected and hopefully one day as Miss USA. So that has deterred me when I found out that TikTok, for example, had um, spyware, people were hacking into people's phones, they had access. That definitely ha made me hesitant to download it. But then quarantine happened and I got a little desperate, so I downloaded it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your honesty, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right. Number three. All right, your question comes from Kimberly Pressler. Hello and congratulations, Mississippi. Our country is more polarized than any other time in recent memory. In your opinion, what must be done to bring our nation back together? I think this is an issue of trust. We've lost trust in the systems that seem to keep our country running from the media to business to our government. And it's all about restoring that trust and coming together and working together to heal and trust in these systems. If we wanna to continue to be the greatest nation, we're gonna to have to set a better example. All right, thank you. Indiana, it's your time to shine. Judge number six. All right, your question comes from Lynette Cole. Hi, and congratulations. Thank you so much. My question for you tonight is, according to a study, only a third of Americans could pass the U.S. citizenship test. Why is that? And what can we do to fix it? I think it's because as Americans, a lot of people are entitled. They think just because they're born here, they have every right to live here. And that's not the case. I think it's really important that we study up in our country. We know what happens. I mean, we had the Black Lives Matter movement where so many people didn't understand the systematic racism that happens right here in our country. We need to do better. We need to learn about our country to progress it and move forward for a better future. Thank you, Indiana. Okay, Idaho, step right up. Thank you. Thank you. Recent protests have advocated for police reform. Do you agree? And if so, what steps need to be taken? I do believe that we need police reform. It's obvious from the amount of violence that is happening, especially among those who are marginalized and minorities in particular. We need police reform. We need to put money instead of towards gun control and policing people inappropriately towards education and teaching officers how to work with communities and how to not fire their firearms inappropriately. Thank you so much, Idaho. Last but not least, Alabama. Judge number two. Congratulations, Miss Alabama. Um, as more and more people are getting their news through social media, do platforms have a responsibility to fact check posts or will that ultimately suppress speech? 
I don't think that will ultimately suppress speech. We need to ensure that Americans are getting the truth. They can, a lot of Americans are learning their news from social media, and that's the only outlet that they have to get their information. And if they're spreading false information, that can be a huge, huge problem for our country. So we need to ensure that the things that people are posting online are true and accurate, but we also need to ensure that the people who are fact-checking those are on both sides of the party, so there is no bias. Thank you, Alabama. Now, I'll tell you, that's exactly why you guys are all finalists. Uh, Chesley, Christian, 